Military forces raid CGNG safe house in Chiapas. Disaster situation in the region. Weapons at CGNG vests. The seizure by Mexican authorities after a confrontation with Almancia's cartel in Chiapas. Following the theft of an agricultural truck, Mexican authorities arrived at a property in the municipality of Villa Corso, Chiapas, where they were met with gunfire by alleged drug traffickers. The authorities of the National Guard, the Mexican Army, and the state police of Chiapas confiscated an arsenal, ammunition, and vehicles after an armed confrontation with suspected members of the Jalisco New Generation Cartel, led by Nemesio Oseguero Cervantes Elias El Mencio, in San Pedro Buenavista, in the municipality of Villa Corso, Chiapas. In this video, I will tell you about the recent events in Chiapas when a military group raided the safe house of the Jalisco New Generation Cartel. Here, I explain the incident, the red zones of the region, the brutal collapse suffered by several areas, the assault, the confiscated items, and the military presence in Chiapas. Before you watch the video, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. Please give us a like and stay until the end of the video. The stolen vehicle had a GPS, which is why the authorities managed to locate these whereabouts. The report of the theft mentioned that members of organized crime were responsible for the robbery, so security forces went to the location indicated by the GPS. It was stated that when law enforcement arrived at the scene, they were greeted with gunfire by armed men with rifles. However, upon realizing they were outnumbered, the armed individuals chose to flee the area. The Secretariat of National Defense, through the command of the 7th Military Region and the 31 Military Zone, reported in a statement that the following items were seized. 9 AR-15 rifles, caliber 5.56 1 Gale rifle, caliber 5.56 1 shotgun with a fixed stock 1 AK-47, known as Cuerno de Chivo, caliber 7.62 An accessory to use rifles as grenade launchers 74 magazines for various weapons, 340 caliber grenades, one homemade grenade, seven vehicles of different brands, bulletproof vests, and 1,700 rounds of ammunition of various calibers. Everything seized was handed over to the public ministry, as reported, but it is possible that they have more artillery in other places. Official sources told Mexican media that several of the confiscated weapons and bulletproof vests were marked with the letters CJNG and the word DELTAS, which is one of the armed factions used by El Mencio's cartel for high-impact attacks. Intelligence reports echoed by journalistic accounts indicate that the group that confronted Mexican authorities in San Pedro Buenavista, Villacorso, Chiapas, would be led by a man identified as Marco Aurelio, alias El Peligro and another man nicknamed El Narizo may have been with him. In Chiapas, Mexico, there is knowledge of a dispute between the CGNG and the Sinaloa cartels, both vying for control of the territory for drug trafficking. There are even reports that the CGNG has ventured into Guatemalan territory, where they are accused of committing several crimes. In September 2023, videos circulated on social media warning about armed groups affiliated with Mexican drug cartels moving in Chiapas, Mexico, near the border with Guatemala. Guatemalan authorities have reported on operations they are conducting in the border area to prevent this situation from affecting Guatemala. In September, the 43rd Commissariat of the National Civil Police in Huehuetenango shared Circular 1733-2023 which alerts to the possible entry of members of Mexican cartels into Guatemalan territory. The circular warned, Through information sources, it is known that members of the Jalisco New Generation Cartel intend to enter Guatemalan territory through the border with Mexico. Currently, they intend to invade the following areas, Nantón, Santa Ana Juiste, Mesilla and Democracia, Huehuetenango, also Tecún Oman, Malacatán, Takana and Sivinal, and San Marcos. Reason, power struggles, takeover, and territorial control. In Huahuatenango and San Marcos, armed attacks have occurred where CJNG members are implicated, but nothing has been confirmed. 
According to reports from residents of border areas, drug traffickers enter the country in caravans of vehicles, commit crimes, and then flee back to Mexico. Guatemalan authorities have consistently reported reinforcing military and PNC presence at Guatemala's borders with Mexico. However, do these measures prove effective? In the skirmish, there were no reported deaths or injuries on the part of the state forces. The situation in Chiapas, in southeastern Mexico, is one of collapse. Organized crime blockades isolate populations, control migratory flows and commodity prices, raid marginalized homes for use as safe houses, force people to join gangs, extort, charge protection fees, daily shootouts, murders, beheadings, dozens displaces, food shortages, and the shutdown of schools, transport, and businesses. All of this, despite the recent deployment of at least 2,300 military personnel on the Chiapas Guatemala border. The Maiseros are entering homes and forcing people to join them, and those who refuse are thrown out. Yesterday, they evicted my niece and her children from their homes. They fled to Guatemala, and others went to the coast reported a relative of the affected individuals to journalist Mariana Morales for the Reforma newspaper. Occupations are carried out by members of the group El Maiz, an arm of the Jalisco New Generation Cartel. Now people say that the military was our last hope, but they didn't get rid of these criminals, and when they leave, things will be worse, because the armed groups will feel untouchable. More than three years ago, in June 2020, the newspaper El Universal, based on a federal government intelligence report, revealed that the Sinaloa and Jalisco New Generation cartels were fighting for control of municipalities near the Pacific Ocean coast and bordering Guatemala, strategic for their illicit activities. It also exposed the presence of the Los Cerros cartel, which dominates the metropolitan area and the center of Chiapas. With less force, they pointed out the presence of the Beltran Leyva, Gulf, and San Juan Chamula cartels scattered in some of the 15 regions that make up the state. Additionally, the presence of the Mara Salvatrucha 13 and the Barrio 18 gangs, mainly dedicated to drug dealing and homicides in 12 localities, was identified. How much longer can the residents endure this situation? The most serious of all is the region on the border with Guatemala. Narcotics advanced like metastasis, corrupting the structure of towns. It involves the dispute between the Sinaloa cartel and the Jalisco New Generation cartel. Extortion and dozens of displaced people are reported in the entities such as Comalapa, Amatenango de la Frontera, and Morazintla. It is the most terrible, capsizing, panic, Gas and gasoline are scarce. People live every day trying to escape. In September 2021, the Zapatista Army of National Liberation pointed out the alliances of the Chiapas government with organized crime, already announcing that Chiapas was on the brink of civil war. In addition to this sound, the most serious one, three more hot sounds were documented in the territory. There are others, however, these are the most important ones. The first, further down in the Sukiye border. Bodies are appearing dismembered and roughers have recorded them. The second is the region of the Lankandon jungle, further north of the Zapatistas' court in the Patan jungle region. Two much larger communities than Ocosinco, called Nueva Palestina and Frontera Corozal, recently marched. It is a strategic area, the route to the Gulf of Mexico. For example, four indigenous leaders from the Lankadon Vigilance Council had to escape by helicopter. There are no conditions to do so by road. Lastly, the third is located north of the entity bordering Tabasco in the city of Reforma, where there is a presence of the CGNG's Delta Group. There have been arrests, disappearances, dismemberments, a very critical situation. Barbaric, isn't it? The collapse caused by narco violence has led the general population to loudly demand the presence of the National Guard and the Mexican Army. In videos and print media, 
you can see how communities can no longer endure the situation and are demanding the presence of federal law enforcement to return to normalcy. However, defenders of the territory who have chosen to remain anonymous have pointed out that this demand is a trap. In fact, there is already a military presence, as in the case of Shiku Mosleo, near the border where the 101st Infantry Battalion was built, very large, with rooms and bases for the National Guard in the mid-six-year term of Pena Nieto. It was supposed to guarantee security, and the opposite happened. The recent dispatch of more than 2,000 soldiers to the border region, however, has not stopped human rights violation by organized crime. What have the military groups achieved? The population is forced to advocate for the entry of the military to strengthen one of the cartels in the border region. There is a historical corruption of the armed force with the organized crime. The stand has always been no auto militarization. This practice has always brought an exacerbation of human rights violations. It is an immediate response, but it does not address the root causes of inequality, marginalization, much less the actions of these groups. Is military presence an effective measure? What do you think? Let us know your thoughts. If you liked this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and activate the notification bell so you can stay informed about our new videos. Before you leave, let a comment. And nothing more to say, until next time.